Whenever you're going into an interview, you feel like you have to give them the right answer. Um, but the truth is, is there's not a right answer. They're looking for you as a person and they're looking for you to answer truthfully. Be prepared to list your strengths and your weaknesses. Um, it's what people want to know. I feel like it gives like people a really good glimpse into who you are because you're able to see who you are as a whole person, not just like, you know, the typical, I'm a perfectionist, you know what I mean? Um, so being able to complete like the introspection and be willing to have like a real answer for people is oftentimes really helpful. You're going to hear questions. Why are you interested in this job? Or why are you interested in this position? And you got to be able to answer that. Sometimes you'll get, uh, why are you leaving your current position? Uh, you know, nobody wants to hire somebody that's running from trouble. What's your favorite part of your job? If you aren't passionate about your job, other people aren't going to feed off of that, right? So um, being willing and open to share your experiences and how it's positively affected you um, is helpful. So you got to be able to answer those questions. You got to be able to answer them honestly. And you got to remember to spin them in such a way that you come out in a positive light, uh, regardless. Also, uh, you need to be able to talk about your skills, uh, skills and knowledge that you've attained. And the important part of that, though, is is frame them in such a way that it um, it applies to the job that you're applying for. You know, so you don't don't bring up skills and knowledge that has no bearing on the job you're applying for. But if there's anything you've done that uh, you can apply to that job, then you need to bring it up, you need to talk about it, and usually helps to have a little story about it too. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, you know, they, they don't want it to be a one-sided conversation. Um, and that's something that I would tell all the seniors going into senior exit interviews. It's not just like a one plus one equals two. I like to be on the football team, or I like to do sports, or I like book studies, or I like things like that. You need to tell them why you like those things. Well, once again, you go back to scheming up and knowing who you're trying to get to hire you. Uh, you should ask questions that give you an opportunity to, to respond to their answer and frame, uh, and frame your question in, in, in such a way that you bring it back to a skill or knowledge that you have. Uh, you're also trying to, with questions, trying to demonstrate that you've done your research, uh, you know the people, you know the company, and uh, gives you an opportunity to, uh, once again, showcase things that would really benefit them in bringing you on board with them. Every job is very different depending on where you are, right? So I feel like ha having a good idea of what your job looks like in their building is something that I would always recommend asking. So what does a counselor do in your school? That can look 12 different ways. Um, additionally, you know, like follow up questions, I feel like are very important in general, just because you don't want to not have anything for them. It looks like you're just kind of like, all right, you got some of me, it's over. You know what I mean? Um, so a follow up question is always something really, really good to ask, whether that's, um, do you have any feedback for me? What's our next step in communicating? Things like that. Uh, best interview, probably the one for this job. It was the first time I'd ever experienced a round robin interview. You had eight different people. You had three minutes of station, like speed dating. And uh, I discovered I'm really good at those interviews. It's just a lot of pressure. You got to talk quick, you got to think quick. And that was probably one of the best interview rounds I've ever been through. Probably, um, so to get into grad school, <laughs> I had a day long interview. And that was super overwhelming to me, but it was actually the most beneficial because I was able to see um, what a day was like doing that. Um, so for as overwhelming as it was for me to be talking about myself for a whole, you know, eight hours, seven hours, um, it was actually really, really helpful because you got to know the people who were asking you the questions and then there was a panel experience. So you got to kind of know the other people who were with you in the room. It's a feeling you get watching the people interviewing you. If they are, uh, attentive, if they're leaning forward, if you can tell they're following your questions, is if they're nodding their head and smiling with you, then you've got them. But if you look in their eyes and, and they're just doing that just because they have to, then maybe you don't have them. So, um, one of the key things, if you're giving people basic answers and you are not fluffing it at all, and then your employer or the person who's giving you the interview then says, we've got everything we need, yeah, that's kind of like, okay, that didn't go too well. So that's why one of the things like, you always want to make sure that you're 
leading with your best foot forward. The biggest thing that I've seen last year in senior exit interviews was uh, students who said uh, or used one of the replacement words, uh, or but, or like. You know, they stuck all these extra words in when their answers when there's completely unnecessary. Uh, take your time, breathe, and slowly answer the question. Because when you get in a hurry or you think you got to answer quick, that's when you start putting those, uh, there's a fancy English word for it, but you start putting those replacement words in and it distracts the people from hearing your answer. One of the jobs that I worked um, right out of college, um, so that was a retail job and that's how I got through college. And um, I did not think that I was gonna, I did not do well. I was new to the city that I was going to school in. I didn't know anybody in a lot of places there. It was who you knew. Um, and I just felt like it was, you know how whenever you're going through things and you're like, what even just came out of my mouth? Um, it was an experience like that. And then they called me back for a second interview and they said, you know, I appreciated that you were authentic. So even if you didn't know something, you were able to take a second and not just spit something out. Um, so that was something that I really learned in that experience was that even if you don't know right off the top of your head, it's okay to stop and think about it.